How's it going everybody there? Too many Raptors here and welcome back to Sonic World. I actually played this fan game a long time ago when it just released release 6. But now there's a new release, release 7, in which they added new stages, new characters, and overall major tweaks to the gameplay. And making an overall better fan game. So let's go try it out. After all, this is one of my favorite fan games of all time. And the Mania theme just fits right in. I'm so glad I chose this. I mean, doesn't it fit in? I mean, it just looks so awesome. This makes me want to play Sonic Mania right now. Aw, oh, comment down below if you're anticipating for Sonic Mania. And we're gonna be playing, obviously, as the ultimate life form himself, none other, Shadow the Hedgehog. Now, I would like to point out that I do not know what's really new in Release 7. I just knew there's a new release and I just downloaded it straight on the spot because I want to start off fresh. So, I'm not sure which is new in here, so if I missed out anything new in this thing, I'm sorry in advance. In addition, I, with that being said, I might also play levels that were in the previous release, and so it's not really new. With that, I'm sorry again. But I know for sure this is new, Green Hill Zone, so we're gonna try it out as Shadow the Hedgehog. Alright, here we go. Woohoo! Oh no, you don't! <laughs> This is what I love about this game, but in particular, it has the combination of like a little bit of freedom and a little bit of speed in it. You know, it's like, it's not perfect, obviously, but it gets it. Alright, let me just hit this. Yeah! Secret! I know, I, I feel more free here. I mean, of course, there's glitchiness and whatnot. Of course, it's not perfect. It's a fan game after all. But what's so awesome about this fan game is that it feels like it could be an actual game. Like, it's like a beta testing of an actual game. And that's saying a lot for a fan game, by the way. Alright, here we go. And... Whoop, 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 whoop. And light dash! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now that's where we saw it into the skies, me laddie. Oh, great. Whoa! I also like shadow skating animation. It just feels like I... Like, it feels like it's fitting in the ground. Whoa! Whoa! -ho! All right! Wow! We just skipped the whole section. That's nice. I like this. Small options to change up the pace. Oh, here we have a choice. Shall we go left and go to the secret tunnel, or shall we go up and see them suffer and burn? You know, since I'm a sadistic man, I should go see them suffer and burn. <laughs> yeah, I feel so free. That's what I love about this. I mean, yes, it's linear, but there are also levels that are more free roam and whatnot, and like I said, it's not perfect, but it gets there. That's what I really like about this uh, fan-made game. It just really... It just pleases most of the fan base, you know? And we all know how very divided the fan base is. So, like, this game can please most of it. Not all of it, but at least most. And you will die, and you will die, and you will die! Yeah! Oh, this is awesome. I really like this. Woohoo! Whoa, song Generations here! You are no match for me. <laughs> I love it. Alright, so what else is it? Wave Ocean. Wave Ocean's here. Alright, now let's just go back and play as a pair. Obviously, we're gonna choose Shadow the Hedgehog, but this time also Sonic, just to bring in the pace and whatnot. So here we go, Wave Ocean. Alright, here we go. Sonic, can you keep up? Of course he can. Why am I even asking? Yeah, whoa! Oh, this is just awesome! Whoa! Oh, it feels much better than the original Wave. Oh god, oh god. You know, I should be using Sonic for speedy sections and Shadow for fighting sections like this. Ha! Ha! Come damn and fight! And you will die. That spear means nothing. You will trip over. You will die. And you will die. Thank you. Now switch to Sonic. Yeah! Oh, please tell me this part is fixed. Please tell me this part is fixed. I always wanted to do it in the original game. Yes, it's fixed. God damn it. Oh my god. What? Honestly, I just have to ask, what was wrong with Sonic 06? I mean, okay, fine. I, I'm, I know it's a rhetorical question of asking what's wrong with Sonic 06. We all know what's wrong with Sonic 06, but just why? Why does it have to be that way? I mean, of course, this reenactment is not perfect. I still feel a sense of glitchiness, but it's obviously way better than the original Sonic 06 level. I mean, this was Sonic's 15th anniversary. Why would they do that? Honestly, 15th anniversary, and at a time where video games and Sonic were beginning to matter more than ever. Like, what just happened? I really want to know what exactly happened. Like, it can't be just a case of, oh, we didn't have enough time, we have to split the whole team up and this and that. Oh, god damn it! I mean, I know for sure, I know for sure, if Sonic 06 was fixed and tweaked majorly, 
It will have been one of my favorite Sonic games of all time, I'm telling you. Because it had all the things I like. There are sections that are free. The gameplay itself feels more free with a bit of speed in it and whatnot. In addition, you can play more than just Sonic. And the levels just feel, you know, realistic. The game is realistic overall, so it feels darker than usual. It has all the aspects. The only problem with the game is that it's very glitchy, very unfinished. And that one scene where Sonic kisses a human girl, which is fine because, you know, it's a human girl, but a girl kissing a, a hedgehog? That, that, you know what, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna say it, I have my own fetishes, so, no. You know what I really want someone to do? Someone at SEGA, or the official sound, would just do like, um, you know, a DLC, where they would recreate the whole Sonic 06 game for free. You know, for free, but this time it's fixed, you know? I mean, there's been many people who was like, let's just forget about the game and whatnot, it never happened. For me, I don't want to forget about it, because despite the fact that it's so disgusting to even exist, I still have a firm belief that it could have been better, honestly. Oh wait, super form, super form! Just for the sake, because we have Sonic here. Yeah! Whoa! I'm going fast, I'm going fast. Too fast for my taste, too fast for my taste! I'm too fast, I'm too fast! Oh, I'm so fast, I'm so fast! Ah, hi, hi, that's what she said! I can't! Oh no! Oh, my laddie! Oh, my laddie! Oh, yes! Yes! Okay. <laughs> Wow, that was weird. They were all fun. No, but you know what I really want? I know, it sounds very far-fetched, and I'm pretty sure no one would ever do it by now because they're focusing on trying to bring Sagan back. But I want someone, or like somewhere within Sonic Team, to actually, you know, you gave me a C. Screw you. I want someone within Sonic Team, or a team, a small team, to actually put in like another future Sonic game, a small DLC. Not a small DLC, but like a big DLC, where they would in where they would fix Sonic 06 entirely and just place it as a DLC for free going like I'm sorry guys this game sucks but now we fixed it and of course you guys don't want it anymore so we're just gonna put it in in this in this game we're gonna release right now as a DLC for free you can get it and play the whole Sonic 06 but this time fixed and added with features and whatnot I just want that you know but but of course people won't waste time for that obviously or we're gonna try one more place because um, I want you guys to actually try this game out for yourself there's a link in the description below to download this game. It's for free and trust me, it's amazing. You don't need a very powerful computer. Of course you do if you want to get the full assets, but my computer isn't the most powerful, so as you can see, it's not showing its full potential in graphics-wise, but I don't really care. So we're gonna be playing as Team Dark, and for the sake of Halloween, because this is gonna be released in Halloween, uh, not in Halloween, but in Halloween month, I wanna play in Pumpkin Castle. Here we go. Have you heard of a man named Smith Swinigan? Have I heard of him? Of course I heard of him! He's the town drunk! Alright, so this, this is what I like. This, see, this is what I like about this game. Freedom, here, I could just, I don't need to run all the time. I could just sit around and explore. And then there are sections where I need to run, and then there are sections where I don't need to run. You see, I feel free. And the gameplay doesn't have to change over entirely. It fits both scenarios, platform, and speed. That's what I like about this game. It's not too, it's not overly dependent on speed. At the same time, it's not overly dependent on, you know, free roam. It feels like it has a perfect blend. Not a perfect blend, but, you know, a blend. Which is something Sonic games fail to do miserably. But this game, while it does not portray it perfectly, it, it gets there. So that's a lot, because it's a fan game. And I'm comparing it to, a, to actual games and it's not working out? Hmm, wow. No wonder they ask fan developers to create Sonic Mania. And look at Sonic Mania, it's getting more hype than ever. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. This part is a bit uh, slippery for my taste. All right. Oh god. No. Oh. All right. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, this is just awesome. I just feel like this. I feel like I'm gonna love this level. I feel like I'm gonna love it. All right. So where do we have to go in this illusionary castle? I guess this is not it. Here we go. Yeah. Wow. This place feels big. I don't know why, I'm, I'm liking this level. I wasn't expecting to like this level because, you know, I prefer levels like Green Hill Zone, um, uh, the Metropolis and whatnot, or, you know, one of those like brightly colored and visionary levels, you know, where it's sunny ways and whatnot. This one, I wasn't expecting to like it because, you know, the texturizing, it feels a bit too dark for my taste and whatnot, or not, not too dark, but, you know, a bit too dull, but you know what? I'm being proven wrong here. This actually looks amazing. I'm actually loving these tops and turns. Whoa! Ah, oh god! Yeah! Oh my god! This is this is. I'm liking this. Yeah, that's right. You can't handle the Omega. 
Oh god, don't- oh, I'm out of rings, I'm out of rings, I'm out of rings, I'm out of rings. Ah, good rings. Now I can go marry the girl I love. Who is no one, because... <laughs> Who would ever love me back? This place is just topsy-turvy all around. It's better than the original. Wow. I can't believe I'm saying it. It's better than the original. I can't believe that I'm saying a fan game is better than most original Sonic games. I can't believe I'm saying that. It really goes to show how amazing this fan game is. I really urge you guys to try it out. Especially there's a new release. So really, go out and try it. Oh my god, shoot them down. Shoot them down. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's right. Oh, my laddie, you have given me a warm heart today. I gotta say, this is much better than the original. I'm saying it again and again because I really need to emphasize on it. Wait, super form. I need super form. Yeah! Here we go! <laughs> they are no match for me. This, this, this level is just taking my breath away. It's so big. Oh my god, and then we have a free roll part. This is just... This is simply amazing, guys. I'm really glad I played this level now. <laughs> It's, it's perfect. It fits in for Halloween. It's, it's massive. There's free roam involved. It's just... Wow. No! Oh, no! Oh, this is actually nice. Oh, let me just explore. Let me just uh, experience this. Fly off to the wings of an angel. And we're inside. Whoa, I'm so far. So far ahead. So far ahead. Yeah! Yes! This is just pure awesomeness oh my god this place is just massive it's t it's slightly taking my breath away ladies and gentlemen oh god hey oh god no like oh my god this place is so massive i you know this is what i like i want levels like this in sonic where it feels expansive you know like sure it will not provide free roam maybe it might it might not be able to provide free roam but at least make it feel massive, make the levels feel massive. And I know you have like Sonic Generations for that, but they don't feel that massive because like there's only certain parts in Sonic Colors and Sonic Generations where you feel like you're really running in a massive world. The only problem is the gameplay itself makes it feel a bit too linear, so you won't really experience more of the massive scale and more of just the uh, speediness. And that's a good thing, yes, but for my own personal uh, like likelihood, I really like to see levels like this massive, you know? Having the feeling to just stop. Wait a minute. Woohoo! Whoa, okay, okay, whoa, that was a bit too fast for me. A bit too fast. Ah, god damn it. Omega! I mean, Rouge, do something. Rouge, he wants to touch me, a hole. Yes. Oh, that's right. Punch him. Punch him. He touched me. He touched me in inappropriate parts. And here we are. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I love it! Ah, well, I guess that ends it right here. There are actually a lot more places added in here, but um, I want you guys to try it out for yourself. That's why I only played Green Hill Zone, um, Wave Ocean, and for Halloween, Pumpkin Castle, because I want you guys to experience the rest. There's City Escape, there's Grand Metropolis, there's Mission Street, there's Casino Park even, and there are many other places that were in the past um, releases. Like, I played this, these levels right here. So I want you guys to try it out. It's truly an amazing game. It feels like it could stand for an actual Sonic game. So I want you guys to download it. The link is in the description below. And you know what? Just have a really fun time with this game. In addition, comment down below based on this theme. Are you anticipated for Sonic Mania? So... Other than that, guys, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Bye-bye!